Here's the 555 one in preference to the photo popper because it had flexibility and you could control and could charge discharge times. So you've got little things like that starting to come into play. Critical reflection on achievement. So we want you to basically take your own work apart. So I did it and it worked well. Out of that 10%, you're looking at 1% for that. I assembled this circuit, had a number of difficulties, particularly in mistaking um, a flashing LED for a light dependent resistor. This caused no end of problems and I could not get it to fire. However, when I put the oscilloscope on the, on the capacitor, I noticed it was fully charged. From this, I concluded that there was no discharge route, and therefore, I tested the uh, MPM transistor on the other. That kind of stuff. That's the critical, that's the same what you did, and nobody in here has just put it together and it works. I know that for a fact. So it's what you did, where it went right, where it went wrong, and what you learned from it. That's a very important part of the Simulation of multi-sim, I accept the multi-sim isn't very friendly to oscillators, and this is an oscillator. It's effectively a relaxation oscillator. Try and get as much of it working as you can. So you've obviously got transistors in there that are switching the motor on and off. A little test case where you raise the voltage up to about 0.7 and it fires. That will demonstrate the motor runs. But give me some kind of inkling that uh, you understand how the circuit works and you can do some kind of simulation of voltage. Evidence of operation. How can you... Evidence it runs. Well, you could upload something onto YouTube and I could look at it. Well, I'm not asking you to do that, but certainly you can do that with, uh, with photographs, right? So you can photograph 2 equals 1, 2 equals 10, 2 equals 20, and maybe it's moved a little bit. But try and evidence to me that that, that circuit you build operates. Okay? Is that making some kind of sense? Is that fair? I think it is, and we run into this, well, not so much argument, but the, the it should be discretionary. Why don't I break down each one of those 10% into 1%? Because then everyone gets 100%, and it's not fair on the ones who have thought a little bit more and have a slightly better understanding. So, yes, we are trying to discriminate in this respect. We're trying to academically discriminate. Um, but, that said, everyone who did this last year averaged up about 65%, so it was, it was very good. And I got told off by the external examiners for having marks that were too high, so that's just simply because that's broken down like that. Anyone have any questions about the report? So try and keep it inside that eight pages. You can condense it down if you want to take a little bit more. Room, obviously change your font size, there's no guidelines on font size, there's no guidelines on pagination, no, you can put up double sided, single sided, I don't care, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the front cover looks like, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. It just, but it should be the abstract introduction, main body conclusions, references, appendices, and then sensibly in the main body, divide it up into the little parts that you want to describe. So, for example, one part in the main body <coughs> might be PCB layout, another part in there might be charging curves, another part in there might be switching operation uh, to activate motor or something like that. Okay. Time spent on this, I would seriously suspect that you could write the text for this inside one three-hour session inside here I'm talking about and all of the rest should be relatively painless because you're going to design your PCB remember you're not going to make the PCB because you're just doing it on bare board but I do want to see a PCB layout or a screen grab of the PCB layout included in your report ready for the next assignment where you will actually have to make it Any questions? So what we're going to do, we're going to upload that onto YouTube in the usual place under C721 2020, I think I called it. So you can go through those factors again, 
As long as you tick all those boxes, after that we start to fall into the realms of where it's discretionary based on understanding, which is really where I want to go. Okay? Yep. Happy New Year.